Question 1. Which device is used to control traffic flow on networks? Option A. Switch. Sh. Option B. Firewalls. Souls. Option C. Hub. Hub. Option D. Router. The correct answer is Option A. Switch. Sh. Sh. Explanation. Switches are wired devices that know the addresses of the devices connected to them and route traffic to that port slash device rather than retransmitting to all devices. They're smarter than HubSpot, not as smart as routers. Question 2. Which device is used to connect WAN to LAN? Option A. Firewalls. Souls. Option B. Router. Ter. Option C. Hub. Hub. Option D. Switch. Ch. Ch. The correct answer is Option B. Router. Ter. Explanation. Routers are used to control traffic flow on networks and are often used to connect similar networks and control traffic flow between them. They're smarter than hubs and switches and determine the most efficient route for the traffic to flow across the network. Question 3. At which layer of the TCP slash IP protocol stack does a firewall operate? Option A. Layer 1. 1. Option B. Layer 2. 2. Option C. Layer 3. 3. Option D. Layer 4. 4. The correct answer is Option D. Layer 4. 4. Explanation. Firewalls operate at the transport layer, Layer 4, of the TCP slash IP protocol stack, which is responsible for managing the communication between applications running on different hosts. The transport layer protocols, such as TCP and UDP, provide reliable and efficient communication services to the upper layer protocols. Question 4. Which of the following would be considered an endpoint? Option A. Software task. Option B. Router. Ter. Option C. Firewall. Wall. Ball. Option D. Laptop. Pop. The correct answer is Option D. Laptop. Pop. Explanation. An endpoint device is a computing device that is connected to a network and has an IP address. Examples of endpoint devices include desktop computers, laptops, tablets, smartphones, and IOT devices. Endpoint devices are often the target of cyber attacks and security measures such as antivirus software, and firewalls are used to protect them. Question 5. What is the purpose of the Ethernet standard? Option A. To define wireless connections of network devices. Option B. To define wired connections of network devices. Option C. To define the way data is formatted over the air. Option D to define the way data is formatted over the wire? The correct answer is Option B. To define wired connections of network devices. Explanation. Ethernet, i.e. EEE -E -E 802.3, is a standard that defines wired connections of network devices. It defines the way data is formatted over the wire to ensure disparate devices can communicate over the same cables. Question 6. Which layer of the OSI model is responsible for assigning MAC addresses to network devices? Option A. Physical layer. Option B. Data link layer. Layer. Option C. Network layer. Option D. 
transport layer? The correct answer is option B, data link layer, layer. Explanation. The data link layer of the OSI model is responsible for the physical addressing of devices on the network. MAC addresses are assigned at this layer and are used to identify network devices at the physical layer. Question 7. What is an IP address? Option A. A physical address used to connect multiple devices in a network. Option B. An address that represents the network interface within the network. Option C. An address that denotes the vendor or manufacturer of the physical network interface. Option D. A logical address associated with a unique network interface within the network. The correct answer is Option D. A logical address associated with a unique network interface within the network. Explanation. While MAC addresses are generally assigned in the firmware of the interfaceIP hosts, associate that address with a unique logical address. This logical IP address represents the network interface within the network and can be useful to maintain communications when a physical device is swapped with new hardware. Question 8. What is the difference between a hub and a switch? Option A. A hub is smarter than a switch. Option B. A switch is less likely to be seen in home networks. Option C. A switch can create separate broadcast domains when used to create VLANs. Option D. A switch retransmits traffic to all devices, while a switch routes traffic to a specific device. The correct answer is Option D. A switch retransmits traffic to all devices, while a switch routes traffic to a specific device. Explanation. Switches route traffic to specific devices, while hubs retransmit traffic to all devices. Question 9. What is an EPV4 address? Option A. A 128-bit address used to uniquely identify devices on a network. Option B. A 32-bit address used to uniquely identify devices on a network. Option C. An address used for internal network use only. Option D. An address used for documentation purposes only. The correct answer is Option B. A 32-bit address used to uniquely identify devices on a network. Explanation. IB4 addresses are 32-bit addresses used to uniquely identify devices on a network. Question 10. How does subnetting help to improve network performance? Option A. By reducing network congestion. Option B. By increasing network bandwidth. Option C. By improving network security. Option D. By simplifying network management. The correct answer is Option A. By reducing network congestion. Explanation. Subnetting can help to reduce network congestion by dividing a larger network into smaller, more manageable subnets. This can improve network performance by reducing the amount of broadcast traffic on the network and limiting the scope of network issues. Question 11. What is an IPSEC replay attack? Option A. An attack where an attacker attempts to inject packets into an existing session. Option B. An attack where an attacker modifies packets in transit. Option C. An attack where an attacker eavesdrops on network traffic. Option D. An attack where an attacker overloads a network with traffic. The correct answer is Option A. An attack where an attacker attempts to inject packets into an existing session. Explanation. In an IPSEC replay attack, an attacker intercepts and retransmits packets to try and gain unauthorized access to a network 
or to disrupt network communication. Question 12. How does IPSEC protect against replay attacks? Option A. By encrypting all network traffic. Option B. By using digital signatures. Option C. By using sequence numbers. Option D. By limiting access to the network. The correct answer is Option C. By using sequence numbers. Explanation. IPSEC uses sequence numbers to prevent replay attacks. Sequence numbers are assigned to packets and checked by the receiver to ensure that they are in the correct order and that no packets have been duplicated or delayed. Question 13. What is the potential impact of an IPSEC replay attack? Option A. Unauthorized access to network resources. Option B. Disruption of network communication. Option C. Modification of network traffic. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is Option D. All of the above. Explanation. An IPSEC replay attack can have a range of impacts on a network including unauthorized access disruption of communication and modification of traffic. Question 14. What is the range of well-known ports? Option A. 01023. Option B. 1024. 49,151. Option C. 49,152. 65,535. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option A. 01023. Explanation. Well known ports are related to the common protocols that are at the core of the TCP slash IP model and fall in the range of 01023. Question 15. What are registered ports used for? Option A. Proprietary applications from vendors and developers. Option B. Common protocols at the core of TCP slash IP model. Option C. Used for web servers. Option D. Used for in-house or open source applications. The correct answer is Option A. Proprietary applications from vendors and developers. Explanation. Registered ports are often associated with proprietary applications from vendors and developers and fall in the range of 1024, 49,151. Question 16. What is the range of dynamic or private ports? Option A. 49,152, 65,535. Option B. 01,023. Option C. 1,024, 49,151. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option A. 49,152, 65,535. Explanation. Dynamic or private ports fall in the range of 49,000, 152 65,535 and are used whenever a service is requested that is associated with well-known or registered ports. Question 17. What protocol is associated with port 53? Option A. DENS. Option B. SMTP. Option C. HTTPP. Option D. HTTPPS. The correct answer is Option A. DENS. Explanation. Port 53 is associated with the domain name service DNES protocol. Question 18. Which of the following is an example of a registered port? 
Option A. Microsoft SQL Server. Option B. RADI US Authentication. Option C. HTTP. Option D. SMB. The correct answer is Option A. Microsoft SQL Server. Explanation. Examples of registered ports include Microsoft SQL Server 1433-1434 and RADIUS Authentication 1812. Question 19. What protocol is associated with port 80? Option A. HTTP. P. Option B. FTP key. Option C. SSH. Option D. Telnet. The correct answer is Option A. HTTP. P. Explanation. Port 80 is the default port used by the HTTP protocol for web traffic. Question 20. Which port is commonly used for SSH? Option A. 2222. Option B. 23. 3T. Option C. 80. T. Option D. 443. The correct answer is Option A. 2222. Explanation. Port 22 is the default port used by the SSH protocol for secure remote access to a server. Question 21. Which port is used by the FTP protocol? Option A. 21. 1. Option B. 22. 2. 2. 2. Option C. 23. 3. 3. T. Option D. 80. The correct answer is Option A. 21. 1. Explanation. Port 21 is the default port used by the FTP protocol for file transfers. Question 22. Which port is used by the Telnet protocol? Option A. 23. 3. 3. Option B. 21. 1. Option C. 22. 2. 2. Option D. 80. T. The correct answer is Option A. 23. 3. 3. Explanation. Port 23 is the well-known port used by the Telnet protocol for remote terminal access to a server. Question 23. What is the well-known port for SMTP? Option A. 25. Option B. 80. TT. Option C. 443. Option D. 22. 2. 2. The correct answer is Option A. 25. Explanation. Port 25 is the well-known port used by the SMTP protocol for sending email. Question 24. Which port is commonly used for HTTPTS? Option A. 443. Option B. 80. ET. Option C. 21. 1. Option D. 22. 2. 2. The correct answer is Option A. 443. Explanation Port 443 is the default port used by the HTTPTS protocol for secure web traffic. Question 25. Which port is used by the SSH protocol for secure file transfers? Option A. SFTP. Option B. SCP. Option C. FTPTS. Option D. TFTP key. 
The correct answer is option A. SFTP. Explanation. SSH file transfer protocol, SFTPE, uses the SSH protocol and typically uses port 22 for secure file transfers. Question 26. What security feature is commonly used with HTTPC? Option A. SSL slash TLS. Option B. IPSEC. Option C. SSH. US. Option D. VPEN. The correct answer is Option A. SSL slash TLS. Explanation. HTTPT. S uses the SSL slash TLS protocol to encrypt web traffic and provide security for sensitive information such as login credentials and financial transactions. Question 27. Which protocol is used for secure email? Option A. SMTPES. Option B. IMAPES. Option C. POP3S. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is Option D. All of the above. Explanation. Secure email can be achieved using SIEP 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 SIMAPS or POP3S protocols, which encrypt email traffic to provide security for sensitive information. Question 28. What layer of the OSI model is the target of ASYN flood attack? Option A. Layer 4. 4. Option B. Layer 5. 5. Option C. Layer 6. SAS. Option D. Layer 7. The correct answer is Option A. Layer 4. 4. Explanation. ASYN flood attack is a type of denial of service, DOS, attack that targets the transport layer, layer 4, of the OSI model by flooding the target server with a large number of SIN requests. Question 29. What layer of the OSI model is the target of a ping flood attack? Option A. Layer 3. Option B. Layer 4. 4. Option C. Layer 5. 5. Option D. Layer 6. Sex. The correct answer is Option A. Layer 3. Explanation. A ping flood attack is a type of DOS attack that targets the network layer, Layer 3, of the OSI model by flooding the target server with a large number of ICMP eco request, ping, packets. It's question 30. What layer of the OSI model is the target of a man in the middle, MIT, MI attack? Option A. Layer 2, 2. Option B. Layer 3. Option C. Layer 4, 4. Option D. Layer 7. The correct answer is Option B. Layer 3. Explanation. AMITM attack is a type of attack that targets the network layer, Layer 3, of the OSI model by intercepting and modifying network traffic between two communicating hosts. Question 31. What layer of the OSI model is the target of a buffer overflow attack. Option A. Layer 5. Option B. Layer 6. Sex. Option C. Layer 7. Option D. Layer 8. The correct answer is Option C. Layer 7. Explanation. A buffer overflow attack is a type of attack that targets the application layer, layer 7, of the OSI model 
by sending more data to a program or service than it can handle causing it to crash or execute arbitrary code. Question 32. What layer of the OSI model is the target of a port scanning attack? Option A. Layer 1, 1. Option B. Layer 2, 2. Option C. Layer 3, 3. Option D. Layer 4, 4. The correct answer is Option D. Layer 4, 4. Explanation. A port scanning attack is a type of reconnaissance attack that targets the transport layer, layer 4, of the OSI model by scanning a target host ports to identify open services and potential vulnerabilities. Question 33. What layer of the OSI model is the target of AMAC flooding attack? Option A. Layer 2. 2. Option B. Layer 3. 3. Option C. Layer 4. 4. Option D. Layer 7. The correct answer is Option A. Layer 2. 2. Explanation. AMA, C flooding attack, is a type of attack that targets the data link layer, layer 2, of the OSI model by flooding a switch's MAC address table, with fake MAC address tasking the switch to broadcast traffic to all ports selling an attacker to intercept traffic. Question 34. A hacker gains access to a company's network and begins to intercept network traffic in order to steal login credentials. Which OSI layer is being attacked? Option A. Physical layer. Option B. Data link layer. Option C. Network layer. Option D. Application layer. The correct answer is Option B. Data link layer. Explanation. The data link layer is responsible for the logical transmission of data between network nodes and error detection. Intercepting network traffic in order to steal login credentials is an attack on this layer. Question 35. A hacker sends a specially crafted email with a malicious attachment to an employee of a company. Once the employee downloads and opens the attachment, malware is installed on the computer. Which TCP layer is being attacked? Option A. Application layer. Option B. Transport layer. Option C. Network layer. Option D. Physical layer. The correct answer is Option A. Application layer. Explanation. The application layer is responsible for providing applications with access to the network. In this scenario, the hacker is using an email as a vector to attack the application layer of the employee's computer. Question 36. A hacker uses a DNS spoofing attack to redirect a user to a fake website that looks like a legitimate one. Once the user enters their login credentials, the hacker steals the information. Which OSI layer is being attacked? Option A. Physical layer. Option B. Data link layer. Dia. Option C. Network layer. Option D. Application layer. The correct answer is Option D. Application layer. Explanation. The application layer is responsible for providing end-user services such as web browsing. In this scenario, the hacker is using a DNS spoofing attack to redirect the user to a fake website, which is an attack on the application layer. Question 37. A hacker uses a man-in-the-middle attack to intercept network traffic between two nodes and injects malicious code into the data stream. Which TCP layer is being attacked? Option A. Application layer. 
Option B. Transport layer. Option C. Network layer. Option D. Data link layer. The. Null. The correct answer is Option B. Transport layer. Explanation. The transport layer is responsible for providing reliable data transfer services to the upper layers. In this scenario, the hacker is intercepting network traffic and injecting malicious code which is an attack on the transport layer. Question 38. A hacker uses a distributed denial of service, DUDOS, attack to flood a company's network with traffic, rendering it unable to function properly. Which OSI layer is being attacked? Option A. Physical layer. Option B. Data link layer. Option C. Network layer. Option D. Transport layer. The correct answer is Option C. Network layer. Explanation. The network layer is responsible for routing network traffic and providing logical addressing. In this scenario, the hacker is flooding the network with traffic, which is an attack on the network layer. Question 39. A company has been experiencing network connectivity issues that have been traced to a problem with the cabling. Which OSI layer is affected by this issue? Option A. Application layer. Option B. Transport layer. Option C. Network layer. Option D. Physical layer. The correct answer is Option D. Physical layer. Explanation. The physical layer of the OSI model deals with the transmission of data over the physical medium such as cables. Question 40. A user reports that they are unable to access a specific website. Which OSI layer is most likely affected by this issue? Option A. Application layer. Option B. Transport layer. Option C. Network layer. Option D. Data link layer. The correct answer is Option A. Application layer. Explanation. The application layer deals with end-user applications and protocols, such as HTTP used for websites. Question 41. An organization is experiencing issues with their VPN connection, causing frequent disconnects. Which OSI layer is most likely affected by this issue? Option A. Application layer. Option B. Transport layer. Option C. Network layer. Option D. Physical layer. The correct answer is Option B. Transport layer. Explanation. The transport layer is responsible for reliable data transfer between host, which is crucial for maintaining a stable VPN connection. Question 42. A company has noticed that their network performance has been slow lately. After investigating, they discover that their router is not configured properly, leading to network congestion. Which OSI layer is most likely affected by this issue? Option A. Application layer. Option B. Transport layer. Option C. Network layer. Option D. Data link layer. The color. The correct answer is Option C. Network layer. Explanation. The network layer deals with routing and logical addressing, which is crucial for efficient data transmission and avoiding network congestion. Question 43. A user receives an email that appears to be from their bank requesting their login credentials. This is an example of what type of attack? Option A. Spoofing. Option B. Phishing. Option C. D. 
OS slash DDOS. Option D. Virus S Rus. The correct answer is Option B. Phishing. Explanation. The attacker is attempting to trick the user into giving away sensitive information by pretending to be a trusted entity. Question 44. Which type of attack involves flooding a network or server with traffic, rendering it unavailable to legitimate users? Option A. DOS slash DDOS. Option B. Spoofing. Option C. Phishing. Option D. Virus. Russ. The correct answer is Option A. DOS slash DDOS. Explanation. The attack is aimed at disrupting services and making them unavailable to users. Question 45. A user clicks on an attachment in an email that they believe is from a friend, which then installs malicious software on their computer. This is an example of what type of malware? Option A. Worm. Merm. Option B. Virus. S. Option C. Trojan. Chun. Option D. Ransomware. The correct answer is Option C. Trojan. Chun. Ch explanation. A Trojan is a type of malware that disguises itself as a legitimate program in order to trick the user into downloading and installing it. Question 46. An attacker intercepts traffic between a user and a server in order to eavesdrop on sensitive information being transmitted. This is an example of what type of attack? Option A. On-path attack. Option B. Spoofing. Option C. Phishing. Option D. Side channel. Tunnel. The correct answer is Option A. On-path attack. Explanation. The attacker is on the path between the user and the server allowing them to intercept and view the traffic being transmitted. Question 47. Which type of malware encrypts a user's files and demands payment in exchange for the decryption key? Option A. Ransomware. Option B. Worm. Merm. Option C. Trojan. Tra. Option D. Virus. S. The correct answer is Option A. Ransomware. Explanation. Ransomware is a type of malware that encrypts a user's files and demands payment in exchange for the decryption key. Question 48. An attacker gains access to a network by using credentials stolen from an authorized user. This is an example of what type of threat? Option A. Insider threat. Option B. Spoofing. Option C. Phishing. Option D. On path attack. The correct answer is Option A. Insider threat. Explanation. The attacker is using legitimate credentials to gain access to the network which they obtained through illegitimate means. Question 49. Which type of attack involves exploiting weaknesses in a network or system over an extended period of time to gain access and steal data? Option A. Advanced Persistent Threat, a PT. Option B. Spoofing. Option C. Phishing. Option D. DOS slash DDOS. The correct answer is Option A. Advanced Persistent Threat, a PT. Explanation. A PT attacks involve a slow and deliberate approach to infiltrating a system often using multiple attack vectors and exploiting vulnerabilities over an extended period of time. 
Question 50. A user receives an email with a link to a fake login page that appears to be from their bank. When they enter their credentials, the attacker now has access to their account. This is an example of what type of attack. Option A. Phishing. Key. Option B. Spoofing. Option C. DOS slash DDOS. Option D. Virus. Russ. The correct answer is Option A. Phishing. Key. Key. Explanation. The attacker is using social engineering to trick the user into entering their credentials into a fake website. Question 51. Your organization is looking to outsource its computing infrastructure to a third-party provider. Which type of cloud computing model would be the best fit for this purpose? Option A. IA. AS. Option B. PAOS. Option C. SAS. AS. AS. Option D. Hybrid cloud. The correct answer is Option A. EIAS. Explanation. EIAS, Infrastructure as a Service, is the provider of the core computing storage and network hardware and software that is the foundation upon which organizations can build and then deploy applications. It is popular in the data center where software and servers are purchased as a fully outsourced service and usually build on usage and how much of the resource is used. Question 52. Your organization is concerned about network security and wants to prevent unauthorized access to its resources by implementing a security model where the network has no trusted space. Which type of security model is this? Option A. Trusted computing. Option B. Zero trust. Option C. Trusted platform module. Option D. Trusted execution environment. The correct answer is Option B. Zero trust. Explanation. A zero trust security model is one where the network has no trusted space and security is managed at each possible level, representing the most granular asset. Question 53. Your organization is experiencing network congestion and is looking to implement a mechanism that can handle a high volume of network traffic without slowing down the system. Which mechanism is this? Option A. VLAN. Option B. MPLS. Option C. DNS. Option D. Load balancing. The correct answer is Option D. Load balancing. Explanation. Load balancing is a mechanism used to distribute network traffic across multiple servers to handle a high volume of network traffic without slowing down the system. Question 54. Your organization is concerned about network security and wants to prevent unauthorized access to its resources by authenticating the identity of users and devices before granting access. Which type of security mechanism is this? Option A. Encryption. Option B. Firewalls. Walls. Option C. Identity and Access Management. Option D. Intrusion Detection Systems. The correct answer is Option C. Identity and Access Management. Explanation. Identity and Access Management, IAM, is a security mechanism used to authenticate the identity of users and devices before granting access to resources. It includes authentication authorization and accounting, AAA, mechanisms. Question 55. Your organization is concerned about network security and wants to prevent unauthorized access to its resources by encrypting data 
that is transmitted over the network. Which type of security mechanism is this? Option A. Firewalls. Alls. Option B. VPEN. Option C. IAM. Option D. Encryption. The correct answer is Option D. Encryption. Explanation. Encryption is a security mechanism used to convert plain text to ciphertext to prevent unauthorized access to data that is transmitted over the network. Question 56. Which of the following is NOT, a function of an intrusion prevention system, IPEESU? Option A. To detect and prevent attacks. Option B. To encrypt network traffic. Option C. To monitor network traffic. Option D. To filter network traffic. The correct answer is Option B. To encrypt network traffic. Explanation. While an IPS can inspect network traffic for malicious activity and take action to stop it, it is not designed to encrypt network traffic. Question 57. What is the recommended range of temperature for optimized maximum uptime and hardware life in a data center? Option A. 62 DEC to 69 DEF. Option B. 64 DEGV to 81 DEF. Option C. 82 DEF to 90 DEF. Option D. 91 DEG to 100 DEF. The correct answer is Option B. 64 DEG to 81 DEF. Explanation. The recommended range for optimized maximum uptime and hardware life is from 64 DEG to 81 DEF, 18 DEG to 27 DEX. Question 58. What is the recommended fire suppression system for server rooms? Option A. Water-based. Option B. Gas-based. Option C. Foam-based. Option D. Powder-based. The correct answer is Option B. Gas-based. Explanation. Water-based fire suppression systems can cause more harm to servers and other electronic components. Question 59. What type of fire suppression system is more friendly to electronics? Option A. Water-based. Option B. Chemical-based. Option C. Carbon dioxide-based. Option D. Foam-based. Taste. The correct answer is Option C. Carbon dioxide-based. Explanation. Gas-based fire suppression systems are more friendly to the electronics, but can be toxic to humans. Question 60. Which of the following is an agreement between a cloud service provider and a cloud service customer based on a taxonomy of cloud computing specific terms to set the quality of the cloud services deliver? Option A. Service Level Agreement, SLA. Option B. Security Assertion Markup Language, SAML. Option C. Simple Object Access Protocol, SOAP. Option D. Open Authorization, Auth. The correct answer is Option A. Service Level Agreement, SLA. Explanation. The passage defines Service Level Agreement, SLA, as an agreement between a cloud service provider and a cloud service customer based on a taxonomy of cloud computing specific terms to set the quality of the cloud services delivered.